Welcome back to Silently Flourish. On this platform, we discuss topics that help accelerate your mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional healing. We are continuing in our series with a Hope Through Prophecy Bible Reading Plan. On this Bible reading plan, we read about three chapters of the Bible every day and one chapter a day from the Conflict of Ages series. So the information for the yearly Bible reading plan and the Patreon membership can be found in the description below. I invite you to join me in the Patreon to support ministry efforts and to deepen your faith through teachings in the Patreon. Today I'm going to start and share my devotional thoughts for day three, but first let's start with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for bringing us to another day, bringing us to another morning. Dear Lord, I pray that as we go through your word, you inspire and you teach us through your spirit in jesus name i pray amen so today we went through genesis 8 verse 11 to 9 and patriarchs and prophets chapter 2 so i just had a lot of different notices today kind of wanderings um maybe not so much of a teaching today but more so just a hmm this seems cool So the first thing that I wrote down in my thoughts was that it would be really cool to plan a trip to Mount Ararat or Ararat, (laughs) I don't know, but that's where Noah's Ark landed and that is in modern day Turkey. So I thought that upon finishing reading this Bible reading plan, I thought it'd be really cool to kind of take a trip there. Um, Another thing that I just saw was interesting was that Noah sent a dove out from the ark after the flood. And when Jesus was baptized, the Bible shares that the Spirit of God came down in the form of a dove. So I thought this was cool. Maybe a bit of foreshadowing. Um, I don't think this is a coincidence that the bird of choice sent out was a dove. But those, again, these are just my, these are just my thoughts for today, really. And uh, the next thought that I had here was that God really does demonstrate his faithfulness to us every day, whether or not we realize it. So in in the Bible reading today, we see that God promised us as long as the earth endures, there will be day and night, warm and cold, harvest time. So I live in a region of the world where we have all four different seasons, but I never thought thought about or knew that the change of season is a promise from God to me it was just like well of course we're going to have winter of course we're going to have fall of course we're going to have spring of course we're going to have summer of course day and night is going to come that's just the way it's set up but upon reading the bible this today I was like it's not actually a guarantee because it just shows you like how much so that how much God is in control and we don't even know and how I was taking it for granted that every day I wake up, the sun is up, right? Or every day I wake up, I'm not waking up to darkness. I didn't realize that was a promise from God. And then I further wrote that the more I thought about this, the more I was really thinking about like how other planets, some of them are either very hot, they're very cold. Some of them have very long days, very long years, or extremely short years. So I'm like, it actually really isn't a given that we are to have day and night. And it's all about, it's all because of God's faithfulness that that is something that's been consistent over time and over all my years of living. So that was like a big, like, I guess musing I had for today's reading. So another point that I had here is that every human being is an image bearer of God. And in my opinion, that means that everyone needs to be treated with tender care. Okay. And then I also have noticed in this reading that the mention of the Gentiles descending from Japheth, Gomer, and Javan was nice to know because it's just a nice to know thing, right? Like, oh, okay, this is where the Gentiles came from. And knowing that Nimrod built Nineveh, 
was a great connection for Jonah later on, where Jonah has to kind of go and tell the Ninevites about God wanting to like forgive them if they repented. So very cool to see how all of this kind of ties in at the very beginning. For Patriarchs and Prophets, chapter two, my heart was softened. More a lot a lot more like musings. I would have really loved to see how Adam and Eve's marriage was before sin. Based on the reading today, I really recommend you go read it. If you cannot get the hard copy book, you can always download the LNG White app or listen to the audio version of the chapter. But their marriage, according to the reading today, sounded pure and affectionate. It also was very fascinating to me that According to the author, designing our living spaces is rooted in pride. Designing our living spaces with luxury, I'm sorry, is rooted in pride. And simplicity in our interior design is actually more ideal than anything. So definitely, those are my main takeaways. Um, Today, just going to close us out in prayer. So dear Lord, we come to you today thanking you for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.